Torrin, you're using the exact same uh, Cintiq that I'm using as well. Yeah. The old, the older 21 UX. Um, mm -hmm. mine's, mine's about four years old now. You know? Yeah, I think mine's about that too. Yeah, and it's still a great piece of kit. Yeah, this the Wacom tablets last forever. I mean, I think there's kind of a reason why professionals end up kind of landing on these particular products because, you know, they try a lot of other things and they, they're not satisfied with anything until it meets all of their expectations. And I've kind of gotten into some debates with people, especially on YouTube, about some of these other competitive, you know, Wacom alternatives. And the difference in build quality is definitely very drastic. I mean, you can really... You can really depend on a Wacom tablet. Some of these other things are a little sketchy, I think. So. Well, I always said if, if mine broke, I'd be online ordering a new one within five minutes. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Was that simple. it was that simple. I mean, you know, okay, I will admit, mine's got a few scratches and a few dead, you know. Uh, it's got a funny mark in it from where we put it in the boot of the car one time. <laughs> so it's got a bit of a purple mark on the screen from where something was leaning against it. Um, and... You know, if I hold the pen up to the camera, you can see that's not looking too nice. It's starting to erode. Yeah, it is actually eroding like the sea. It's actually wearing down on one side of the nib. How often do you go through nibs? Not very um, often. No, not as often as I should. But that, I think, is because I don't change them as often as Wacom would recommend. But do, do you find that they wear down pretty quickly? Or does it take like six months, a year? How long do you think? Because you draw a lot, like all day. I draw, I draw every day, and I so I draw for at least six hours a day, if not, you know, sometimes eighteen hours a day. But you're not, so, you're, not you're not changing a nib like once a week or anything. No, um, I'd say you could get about six months out of a nib before yeah. it's gone. Before you suddenly go, think, think, think. Oh, there's nothing. There's yeah. nothing I can use. Yeah, um, that's what that's what I find about six months to a year. But there's there's some people who say that they wear down really quick. But I'm like, you know, what are you doing? Like stabbing your tablet and going. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Maybe, but maybe the trouble if... is with the the trouble is as well. You have to keep your eye on them because if you continuously just work and don't rotate your hand, what you can do is you can actually sharpen the tip. Mm -hmm. by applying too much pressure and therefore really, you know, end up scratching your your screen because you've sharpened your tip too much. Mm -hmm. That that can happen as well. That's that's definitely true. It's good to, good yeah. to keep an eye on it. But, um, Torin, how often do you go through nibs? I almost never change my nibs. I Maybe I got a really light touch or something. They don't wear down. It's it They last forever for me. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. <laughs> well, I know for me, I press down pretty hard because when I when I draw on regular paper, it's hard for me to erase pencil because the paper's dented from how hard I'm pressing. So, yeah. I don't know. I I think maybe it comes down to a technique thing. You know, there's there's a lot of people who who are maybe starting out that are trying to get a pencil shading effect, and they're they're putting down a lot of friction and a lot of heat by shading back and forth and back and forth when they could use something like an airbrush that would still give them that gradient in fewer brush strokes. Mm -hmm. so it, could, yeah. it, could just, it could just come down to technique, I don't know. When I was talking to you, the, um, the nib came out of my pen, and it's... Uh... Wow. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's worn down a bit, so <laughs> I'm going to have to replace it. It yeah, was also yeah. a bit damaged, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't go through very many on the Cintiq. On the Intuos Pro, the surface was a little more coarse, um, and that that's to kind of simulate the feeling of paper. It's good to have friction, so you know a lot of people yeah. complain that it wears down the tips faster, but anything is going to cause friction. You know, you have to sharpen a real pencil in real life. So unfortunately, yeah. that's that's something you can't escape from. The, um, it's a property of the physical world. Um, but on the Cintiqs, they have smoother screens. They're kind of more, they have a little bit of tooth, but not very much. And so I think since we all primarily work on the Cintiq, um, we're not wearing down our tips as fast as someone who might be using the Intuos Pro or the Intuos. 
Yeah, like I said, I almost yeah. never change my nibs. I have no idea why. Maybe I'm lucky. Maybe I have one that's about to just fall out any second now, and I don't know about it, but <laughs> I'm looking at it, and it actually looks pretty good, and I've had this in for maybe, like, two years. <laughs> I don't Is know. Is it on one side, or...? No, I actually tend to like rotate my hand a lot, just That's instinctually, good. so yeah. I don't get that like jagged edge. Yeah, mine gets slanted on one side, and it's the slant side, the other side from the buttons. Yeah, that's that's what happens. You know, you can see the angle, and in fact, yeah, the pen know. itself is actually slightly worn on that side as well, on the underneath. On my first Boycom tablet, I used it until the, that little rubber grip thing, it like melted off. <laughs> <laughs> but after that, I don't know, maybe I learned not to be so hard on them. Yeah, I, I had one of the old ones that had the little rubber thing. that it You could kind of take it off, but it would always come off when mm -hmm. I was drawing. So I eventually just took it off and left it off. But that, that old pen, I think I still have it. I mean, it's it's dirty and chipped yeah. and cracked and eroded. I mean, that thing is just like, I, th I think it, I think at one point, like the tiny screws came out and I had to like get a little screwdriver and screw them back in. Like that's how much I was drawing. I vibrated one of these tiny screws out of its hole. Screws right away out. <laughs> I destroyed that first Wacom tablet and I eventually ended up crushing the pin on accident. Okay. I put it, yeah, I put it in my backpack with my laptop, and I just hit it just the right way, and it had been already worn down so much that just the weight of the laptop just destroyed it. Yeah. So the like, yeah, you misplace your pen, though? I've never lost it because I always put it in the same place because I'm kind of OCD when it comes to that stuff because I know I need it. I kind of am, but then sometimes if the phone rings or something like that, I'll go off, and then I'll come back and I'll be like, where's the pen? Where's the pen? Where's the pen? And sometimes it's behind my ear, and then sometimes uh -huh. it's not. Or I might have—I won't put it in my pocket because I'm afraid of crushing it or sitting on it or something like that. But like sometimes it will go missing for five minutes. I'm surprised, you know, this many years I have never lost a pen. They need to fit like a little "Where's my pen?" thing in it, so I can just look on my phone <laughs> and find where in the house my pen is. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the little case that comes with the companion is pretty good. Yeah, I agree. I like having all of that together. That that helps not losing it too. I wish my Cintiq had one of those. Uh, ah, yeah. yeah. It, it keeps all the nibs and everything right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're you're encouraged to to keep it in the pouch and everything kind of goes together. It's like mm -hmm. it's like a routine when you take it out. You know, you take it out of its little package, and then when you get done with it, you put it back in, and you know, it really keeps things together. For my yeah. For my desktop Cintiq, I just keep it in this little pen holder that it comes with, and that just sits next to my tablet on my desk. Yeah. I knock I knock this thing over all the time. I've dropped it on the floor, um, so it is durable. I'm sure you know if you stepped on it or something, it would definitely break. But I don't think there's many complex parts in it. You know, it doesn't use a battery, so you really can't do too much to break this other than like, you know, physically break it. Um, mm -hmm. So I just thought I'd throw that out there. It's okay to, I wouldn't recommend dropping it, but I've definitely done it a few times and it hasn't hurt it. 